This is chapter four, lesson one, estimate products of fractions. So what we can do when we're estimating products of fractions, so products means multiply, okay, is estimate using compatible numbers. You have already used compatible numbers to estimate quotients. You can also use compatible numbers to estimate products. Okay, so that actually makes sense because in the previous chapter we talked about estimating quotients using numbers that were really close to what we already had, and then we can estimate the products. Okay, we can also estimate by rounding to zero, one half, or one because those are really easy to multiply by. Okay, so if the numerator of a fraction is between zero and one, is almost as large as the denominator, round up. Okay, so if the numerator of the fraction is between zero and one, is almost as large as the denominator, you round up. If the denominator is much smaller than the denominator, numerator is much smaller than the denominator, I round down. So seven eighths is really close to one, so I'd round up. One eighth, I would round to zero, okay? So let's take a look at an example. So first what I have is estimate one fourth times 13. So I can find a multiple of four close to 13, which is 12, so multiple, so four times what would get you close to 13? Well, 12, 12 is a multiple of four, because so my multiple's of four, four. Okay, so my multiple's of four would be four, eight, 12, 16. So I'm going up by four each time. Okay, so 12 is gonna be closest to 13. So 12 and four are compatible numbers since 12 divided by four equals three. So the first method I can use is to use a model. I divide the bar representing 12. So 12 was the number I started with. Remember, I rounded 13 to 12 because it's a compatible number for four. Divide the bar representing 12 into four sections, okay? Because one fourth, so I'm dividing into four sections. And each of those sections in order to get to 12 would be three. Method two is use compatible numbers, okay? So one fourth times 13 is about one fourth times 12. One fourth times 12 is about three. So one fourth times 13 is about three. Okay. The other problem I have is estimate one ninth times four fifths. Okay, I can place dots on the number line at one ninth and four fifths. Then I can round to zero, one half, or one. So one ninth is about right here. Okay, so that's about one ninth. And four fifths is about there. Okay. So I can round one ninth is about zero and four fifths is about one. So one ninth, I can round to zero. Four fifths, I can round to one. Zero times one is zero. So one ninth times four fifths is about zero. Okay. So there are a couple try it problems. Go ahead, pause the video, try out the try it problems, and when you're done, we will go over the answers together. So now that you've done the try it problems on your own, let's go over the answers together. So the first one I have is A, 1 fifth times 16. Okay, well, what I can do is I can ask myself, can look at compatible numbers. 
So for A, 1 fifth times 16. So I can look at 5 and write down my multiples of 5. So 5, 10, 15, 20. Okay. 15 is closest to 16, right? So I can say 1 fifth times 15. Okay. So this is saying 1 fifth times 15 over 1. Okay. This gives me 15 over 5. Well, 15 divided by 5 equals 3. So 1 fifth times 16 is about 3. And I use squiggly lines as opposed to straight lines because this means approximately. Okay. For letter B, I have 5, 6 times 13. I'm going to write down the multiples of 6, 6, 12, 18. So the closest one is 12. So I can do 5, 6 times 12. So then I have 5, 6 times 12 over 1. Okay. This is the same thing as saying. 60 over 6. Sixty divided by 6 gives me 10. So for letter B, 5, 6 times 13 is approximately 10. Letter C, 3 fourths of 23. So of means multiply. You can write down the multiples of four. Okay. So 24 is the closest. So I can rewrite this as three fourths times 24 over one. Twenty four times three is seventy two, and then that divided by four equals eighteen. So letter C, three fourths of twenty three is approximately eighteen. Okay. For letter D, I have five eighths times nine tenths. Okay, and I'm gonna use my second strategy here for these. Five eighths, well four eighths would give me one half, so this is gonna be one half. Nine tenths is really close to one. So one half times one equals one half. So letter D, is approximately one half. Letter E says five six times nine tenths. Five six is really close to one, and nine tenths is really close to one. So I have one times one, which equals one. So letter E 
going to be approximately one. For letter F, I have five sixths of one ninth. So. so remember of means multiply. Five six is close to one. One ninth is actually really close to zero. So I have one times zero, which equals zero. So that means letter F is approximately zero. And that is the end of lesson one.